Bears, the Chelmsford's, Chelmsford's Thanksgiving football game against Villarica. We are currently in the press box. Um, yes, that's where I am right now. Um, being here hosting CHSTV's pregame show at Fenway might be the highlight of my high school career for sure. And today has been such a blast so far. Very drizzly, drizzly but delightful blast. Um, we've been looking forward to this game all season and it's crazy how it's finally here. Although it's Thanksgiving Eve, it is sure to be an exciting game, especially after pep rally that we had on Tuesday. Last week's game against Acton Boxborough went incredibly well with the Lions shutting them out 34 to nothing which was a complete 180 from our first game against London Dare where we lost 41 to nothing. The impressive five touchdowns from that game were from Grant Englehart, Gable Gray, Justin Nordengren, and, and there were two by Dylan Doulon. Let's take a quick look at one of the touchdowns made by senior Justin Nordengren with a pass from Anthony Morelio in the fourth quarter. receptions for 167 yards and one touchdown. During this season, he had a total of 507 yards, averaging out to about 56 yards per game, leading the team, and has had 48 receptions, four touchdowns, and an impressive zero fumbles given the amount of receptions. Um, if you're interested in checking out an interview with him, make sure to stay tuned and check it out on our Instagram tomorrow on Thanksgiving. Um, in general, looking back, on, at our entire season, the amount of growth our team has had is absolutely insane. The gap between us and our opponents has been getting smaller and smaller each week, with our last game and with our last in-season game against Central Catholic having a final score of 36 to 35, us only losing by one point. In total, the Chelmsford Lions have scored 201 points, 131 of which were made by underclassmen. There's also been 29 touchdowns, 18 from passes, and nine rushed and 12 different players have made points so far. Now, for today's game in C against CHS's rival, the River Pit Indians, who are 8-2. Um, they are also first in their league. Truly, they're, they've been having an impressive season. They have lost 8-2 to Andover and 9-2 to Westfield. Now, for a little history on the rivalry, the Lions have been playing against the River Pit Indians since 1927, and this year is our 92nd Thanksgiving game against them. The Lions historically lead the series with a dominant 59-29 win rate along with five ties. With each, game's, with each team's current head coach, the series is tied at two each, making today an interesting game to see whether Coach Peterson and the Lions will be able to triumph over Bulwerka. The head coach for Bulwerka is Duane Sixbury, hope I said that correctly, who is in, who is in his 13th year of coaching and is 103-43, to very impressive. And this season, Bill Ricca has scored 297 points and allowed their opponents 212 points. The teams that they've been, that they've beaten, that they've lost, the teams that they've beaten that we've lost to include Westford Academy, Central Catholic, Tewksbury, North Andover, and Methuen. Both teams have lost to Andover, and we've also beaten both Haverhill, with Bill Ricca beating them 33 to 21 and us 32 to 22. Bill Ricca's offense is led by their quarterback, Steve Gentile. had over a thousand passing yards at 831 rushing as well as um, number 25 Gus O'Gara who has had seven touchdown receptions and is one of their captains. It's also interesting to note that one of CHS's teachers is Will Ricca assistant coach which is of course Mr. Souza. Now to bring the ball back to Chelmsford sophomore number four Gable Gray has had a great season so far along with Dugan. Gable had 18 receptions during the season with 259 yards, averaging out to about 14 yards per reception, and had two touchdowns. Gable has also punted for each game with 30 punts and 1,032 yards, which averages out to about 34 yards per punt. 
I'm going to take it back to the CHS studio with reporter Max Plotnik to hear more from Gable about how the team is going in mentally and strateg strategically for today's game, as well as some stellar moments from the game against Acton Boxborough. Take it away, Max. I'm Max Plotnik with CHS TV. Uh, I'm here with uh, Gable Gray. Uh, so, Gable. Uh, last week, you had a catch uh, from Ryan Hart, which really just started to turn the tide uh, with from Acton Boxborough. Uh, and how did that, like, how did that moment start to become like a turning moment for you in the game? I think it kind of showed us like what we were capable of in that game, and to not like let up and just kind of keep going at him and not, not give him anything. Yeah, not 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 giving him an inch or a yard. Yep. Um, and with that, this game is coming up. This game coming up this Thanksgiving uh, against Bolerica. It is their quite difficult team. Especially if it's in the world, like in that atmosphere with everything going on. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And with that, so we've played Borica a lot, of, a lot um, so far. But we know they're a very difficult team. But we've got, we've learned some of their plays through just experience. How is that sort of like that experience playing against Borica? than uh, I've learned, but that's awesome. I can't wait to see you guys play against it, and I hope you guys crush them. Yeah, thank you. All right. Well, this has been Max Plotnik with uh, CHS TV. Back to you, Stella. Thank you so much for talking with us, Gable. We hope that today's game against Bilrica goes well. Now, to take a look at some of our football seniors for Chelmsford and Bilrica. Starting off, we have our 15 Chelmsford Varsity football seniors. Let's take a look at them. Jose Bethel, defensive end. Mike Beerworth, lineman. Spencer Davis, corner. Grant Inglehart, receiver. Malachi Everett, running back. Nick Kaiko, tight end. Michael Mwaneki, receiver. Austin Aguilar, corner. Justin Nordgren, receiver. Ben O'Brien, Sandy. Will Petrilli, tight end. Josiah Russell, lineman. Kyle Wilder, quarterback. Thank you so much. Um, sorry. Thank you so much, seniors. Um, and next up, we have the Bulrica Varsity football seniors. CHS TV was very excited to be able to film them at Bulrica Memorial High School. Also, special spout out, shout out to Mr. Magliosi, the Bulrica Athletics Director, for helping us make this happen. So please enjoy. John Bastos is low receiver. Tyler Bornstein, right guard, D tackle. Nick Cali, wide receiver. Jose Candelario, inside linebacker. Aiden Champy, wide receiver. Cole Dillon, defensive end, tight end. Aiden Falcones, running back, outside back. Brandon Ganley, center. Aiden Gibbons, strong safety. Kevin Gregorowitz, corner. Tyler Jeffers, wide receiver. Matt McLeod, middle linebacker. Joe Michichi, wide receiver. Xavier Mosley, left guard. Logan Ewan, BN. Mike Renane, safety, wide receiver. Gus O'Gare, wide receiver. Jaren Patel, D line, O line. Congrats to all the seniors for a great last year. Things are really starting to ramp up now. Here at Fenway, four other high school football teams have played for this Thanksgiving football at Fenway. And later today, Lemonster and Fitchburg will be playing around 6.30 p.m. Yesterday's game in games included Tech Boston, who played against Brighton, Brighton, and King Phillips, who played against Franklin. For our last interview of the season, my good friend Lila Kolaski had the chance to interview our starting quarterback and junior, Ryan Hart, 
During the season, Ryan had 945 yards, which, which averages out to about 108, 118 yards per game, 11 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. He's also had 53 carries with about 13 carry, yards per carry, as well as 10 tackles, three of which were solo. Now let's head back to the studio to hear more about his consistent progress, how pep rally affects the team spirit, and more. Take it away, Lila. Hi everyone, my name is Lila Koloski and I'm here with junior starting quarterback Ryan Hart. So Ryan, this is the last game of the season. There's no more playoffs, no more any, there's nothing else after this. Um, and this is the last game with like this exact group of guys with junior, jun um, seniors graduating and things like that. Um, how are you guys feeling about this game? I mean, we're coming in with a lot of confidence. We know what we have to do. I mean, they're a really good team and it's a big rivalry every year. So, I mean, we're just going to play like every other game and just hope to come out with a win. Yeah, just positive thinking. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this year's been kind of crazy for you, kind of been thrown into the deep end. Definitely. Um, but I know, like, just even just watching the games, like, you've made so much progress over the past handful of weeks. Yeah. Um, and just consistent progress. What do you think has been the biggest contributor to keeping that just getting better and better? I mean, it's a lot on the coaches and also on the players because they're starting to get a lot of trust with me and everything. Especially with the coaches calling different plays where in the beginning of the season we wouldn't really run because my, I don't know, wasn't really as experienced as Kyle was. So, mm -hmm. but now we're getting into the groove of things and then we're going to bring it on to next year and then this game. So, hopefully everything comes together. Yeah, that like two-way trust. Yeah, yeah. You trust me, I trust you. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, so, tomorrow we have pep rally. Yeah. It's a huge thing for a school, huge thing for um, the football players, that whole concept of beat Bill Ricca. Um, that the whole entire thing of pep rally is really leading up to this Thanksgiving game. Yeah. What do you think, like, how do you think pep rally, like, affects you guys and the mentality and just knowing that kind of, do you have the whole school behind you? Exactly. That's what I was about to say because, I mean, now we know because we're celebrating it pretty much in school mm -hmm. and, like, now we know everyone else is behind us because they all want us to win this game and keep the, I don't know, rivalry with a win and mm -hmm. keep on going forward and just, I don't know, yeah. Yeah, it's like nice knowing yeah, all these yeah, people behind you. Definitely, yeah. For sure. Well, thank you very much for talking with of me. Course. I wish you luck um, against Bill Ricca. Thank you. And hopefully at Fenway. We'll yeah. see. Um, and good luck next year. All right, thank you. Um, this was Lila Kloski for CHS TV. Back to you, Stella. Thank you so much for talking with us, Ryan. It's always so much fun to see everyone at Pep Rally cheering for the football team. And you can truly feel the difference it makes for the football team. And to wrap things up, thank you so much for joining me this year for pregame, everyone. I know that this is a little bit of a different setting than what we might normally have, but obviously we tried to make everything work out, and we're so excited that you guys um, are here to watch the game today. Um, um, what a fantastic note to end the senior on. I've had such a blast, and this is definitely going to be something that I miss in colleges. In college. Make sure to follow CHSTV on all of our social media, which will be on the screen now, and stick around for the winter and spring seasons. We'll be filming basketball, hockey, volleyball, lacrosse, all sorts of sports, as well as releasing content from our news and sports departments. So make sure to check, out, check these out when the time comes. Hopefully I will see you all after for a wrap up, so make sure to stick around after the game for that. Um, we're now going to take, we're not gonna take it to a senior video, but this was Stella Williamson for CHSTV, signing off for the season. Go Chelmsford and let's beat Bill Ricca.
mental mistakes, lining up on side uh, on offense, not jumping offside when on defense, playing on the game that they're capable of playing. The Lions should come with the game. fourth game or the 97th game depending <laughs> upon how you count it they have uh, played three or uh, times not on Thanksgiving so on a Thanksgiving day which is tomorrow of course it will be the 94th game the Lions are ready to go they're receiving the kickoff it's a short kick Dugan comes up at about the 15 and yep. makes a good return to about the 35 yard line. Yep, looks like the 35. We are situated behind home plate at Fenway. And the ball is right at the 35. Out behind on the way to right field to be an idea of perspective. Where we are and where the Lions in the regular So we will be depending upon the monitor in there. Tonight, uh, to get through this situation. Ryan Hart, the junior quarterback, brings the Lions onto the field. First play from scrimmage, just underway. Long count. Hart hands it off. This is Everett, and he gets a uh, very little yardage on first down. So it's going to be second and about 10 for the Lions. A unique challenge for both teams is the way the sidelines are set up. Obviously, with football, uh, you're usually across the field from each other uh, because of uh, space. Uh, both teams are on the same sideline, and that's an issue when you have to sub in across the other team's uh, bench. Pass and incomplete. You're looking for Dugan in the flat, well covered. Uh, missed that one. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think Nate was expecting it that quickly. I don't either. I don't think he was looking. Actually, no. <laughs> it's all right though. It hit him in the feet, anyways. So. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good point. What One of the things that uh, Fenway has done with the high schools is they had every minute scheduled, and so the normal warm-up wasn't had by either team. To his left, he's going to keep it. Also, the Ricker has an explosive offense. Expect, 
Sorry, Bruce, I was going to say, expect to see uh, O'Gara, number 25, one of the primary uh, players, receivers, running back. Uh, he plays all over. Right now, he's split wide to the left. Gentile is in the uh, backfield all by himself. And he's going to run it by himself. Has a little bit of an edge on the corner. And Tackled by uh, Nate Dugan out of bounds. That's a pretty good pickup, though, on first down. Out to the 31-yard line. 30-yard line. So pick up of about five or six. The other intangible, too, is uh, just at game time, he started misting again, which the lights yeah. pick up. I don't know if they can see it on the screen. Uh, but it's got to add a little moisture in the air, too. And there's Dugan's tackle on the outside. Again, empty backfield. Gentile goes the other way with it this time. Has an opening outside. And comes across the 35. That's going to be a first down, I believe. It was a nice job by, uh, by the Lions. Strung it out a little bit more. So right now, Barrick is just employing an unbalanced line. Uh, so you can see they're unbalanced to their own left side. Um, and they're, they're just running quarterback sweep. Same thing. And Lions a little bit better on defense this time. That was a first down call. Jose Bethel on the tackle. Jose, 72. So far, it's been Gentile show on three successive runs. That one only picks up uh, a couple, though. Just underway, first quarter. 9.33 on the scoreboard clock. Back to pass is Gentile. He gets hammered, gets the pass off. Oh, incomplete, complete. And Gentile got blasted. I didn't get the line. Great coverage by Dugan. Uh, Cowell. And one more lion there. Yeah. And it was uh, a nice Another job green. by those two that you mentioned, Bruce, to knock the ball loose from the receiver. I we, think it, I think it was Bethel that made the, the hit. I, oh yes, that was a big hit by uh, Jose. Third down, long from the wicket. Bethel. In the backfield, a gentle is Doral Bethany. He is a uh, excellent running back. They're going to uh, roll it, throw it, and it's incomplete. The Lions have uh, come through the first series, but we are now in a punting situation. And they were intended for Gus O'Gara, number 25. But Gallo scored a big touchdown in the opening drive last year against Chelmsford. See the replay here. Throw was. Hi, he only got one hand on it. And good coverage. Dugan is back deep for the Lions. And the punter is Gentile, the quarterback. No, I don't think he did. No. I think it's he's short. He's short. It's going to be first to ten Lions. A big break and a good defensive play. They needed nine. They did not get it. The Lions have the football. Ty Everett over there to make the uh, knock out of bounds. A little, a little slow. I think Chubbs kind of knew what was happening. And I was a little slow getting there. So. I agree uh, totally, Rob. I think the Lions knew that there was something up. And fortunately, they were able to uh, stop the wicker. First and ten, the second possession of the football game for Chelmsford. This time, they're at the Wicker 45. And this is Everett. And a little better first down run this time. 
The Luka has a big off, big defensive and offensive lines. Keys of key defense. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Pull it, they pull two. Uh, and I, I think someone forgot to lead up upfield. It always helps. <laughs> Running play again. Good yardage. Everett to the 45. 35. 35. That's close to first down. It is. So, first down, the first first down of the night for the Lions. I'm not going to go any further, though, before we thank Chelsea Telemedia. They were here at uh, about, I left Chelsea this morning at 7.30, and they have worked all day long setting this up. Thank you to Tom Peterson. Lila Kowalski and uh, so many others. See if we can get some names for you. What a great job they've done. Everett going to the right. Has a, an opening again. He's across the 30-yard line. Good first down yardage by Kai. Uh, I think the uh, the nerves of the Lions offensive line have, are gone now, and they're uh, starting to uh, carry out their blocks and assignments very well. They're at the 29-yard line. Second down, and I'm looking for the down marker. It's about the five, I would say. Yes. Dugan. The Dugan fakes inside, comes outside, and picks up a couple. It's going to be a third down. Dugan with very good speed, a sophomore. They're about two. two. Touchdown. Nine yard touchdown run for Kai Everett. The Lions break on top by a score of six to nothing. For Kai Everett, that's his seventh touchdown of the season. Just the start the Lions were looking for. Nothing fancy, coach, just some uh, zone reads right there. Yeah, up the middle. Up, yeah. Absolutely right, Dave. Be following number 58. Pat McConnell is the kicker for the Lions, number 42. Low snap, but the kick is good. The All Lions right. have a crucial extra point. The holder did a nice job getting yes, that did. ball on the, if we can see that extra point, I think it was Dugan. It's Dugan that yeah. holds, yeah. yeah. So, Chelmsford, a big underdog in this game. They are not supposed to win it, folks, but they have taken a 7-0 lead following a trick by Bill Ricker that backfired. I think uh, the... The Barica team, although with the better record, they, they're going down the stretch. They really did have a tough go, and I think uh, I think they got beat up pretty good over the last few games. So uh, that was one of the things coaches talked about this week. to kind of take advantage of. Physically, uh, the Lions are getting a couple of players back tonight. Jake Brooks is back. Uh, Jack Myers is Myers back. back. Right. Jack so, that's a big help for those two, uh, for the Chelmsford team. And I think it's worth mentioning that Kyle Weiler walked onto the field for the, the uh, coin toss. Coin toss. How 
albeit on crutches, that it's been a huge lift uh, to have him around and, and see him starting kind of get back to quote unquote normal. What a great sight that was for Kyle. Mike Beerworth on the kick. Beerworth kicks it out of bounds. And once again, the Lions uh, kick again. Not as solid as they were hoping. So the Wigan will get a little bit of a break. They will get the ball at the 35-yard line. Mike has had uh, some great, great kickoffs this year, yeah. but he's also had some issues uh, keeping it on the field. And the wind is blowing from right to left. Yes. So that, was, uh, that aided that, that kick by Mike. Oh, it's going to get another chance, but Wicker refused the uh, penalty, and they're going to make him kick it again, this time from the 35-yard line. And Ogara, number 25, could be the recipient of this kick, just the way that uh, the ball seems to work. There we go. He kicked it the other side, and taken at the 25. The Lions are right there. Right. Ball carry is Aiden Gibbons, captain number five. As soon as Gibbons caught it, he uh, had a lot of company. With which is really supposed to happen in the, in the first place. Is you line up with most of the guys to your right, and you kick it to that side. Imagine that, Cliff. That's a unique thought, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, the record lost four yards on that. Which is uh, interesting. That's a good call, Dave. I'm going to take it to 35. Me too. Me too. 32, 31 yard line, and six minutes and seven seconds to play in quarter number one. The other thing, the atmosphere, uh, because of the way Fenway is obviously built, the, the crowd noise for these kids must be fantastic. Yeah. And a completion, good yep. completion. Number 15, Griffin Bordeaux. Picks up the first down on a pass from Gentile. Just a little stop pass, kind of a missed tackle. Bill Rick is kind of going, wants to go on a hurry up now. That was about 12 yards, I think. Yeah. 12, yep. Thanks. First and 10. Dorival, the ball carrier, he gets very little. He's at the 45, I believe. Just inside the 40. Uh, just outside, almost the 46. Number 71 for the Lions there to help uh, make that stop. Right. Is Jose Russell. He's had a good season. He has. He's gotten better as the season has gone on. Yes. It's second down and about eight for Bill Ricca. He has it again, oh, nice and he gets very little. Nice tackle. 55, Cooper. Cooper Campo on the stop. So it's going to be third and about seven for Bill Ricca. Another line of excellent season. Yes, yes. Oh, there he is, right there, right where he should be. Dumps him. Interception on the on yes. the deflection. Uh, Keiko, number 11, one of the uh, players to break it up. Gentile is the punter. Everett and Dugan are standing at the 15. If they punt it this time, and they're going to. Oh, terrible kick. That, that one out of bounds about 10 yards down the field. That explains the fake earlier. Yeah, that might. Getting the ball at the 
40, 43 yard line. Wow. That's, called, that's called a shank, right, Coach? <laughs> I know, don't say that yeah, word. Say that word. That's <laughs> not allowed in this booth. <laughs> Side of the foot would be appropriate. Sorry. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Get it. All right, first and ten chunks. It uh, looks like at the moment, as like the partners have said, the 43 yard line. Start to drive there. The, the first time we do not have unobstructed unobstru unobstru view, <laughs> we're a mile away. Yeah. So I guess we can't get it just right. No. Doing the <laughs> game from Charlestown. <laughs> Although for, from a football dog standpoint, I love this this perspective looking up the field in this direction. Hot and off. Hot keeps it. Wow. Came, came straight ahead. Short gain on the play. Unofficially, that is 11 yard run. Oh, I can't bother. Pick up with about a two on that by Ryan. Uh, we give you a one yard. Chunks are showing a little bit of a power formation there. Don't have, as you notice on the screen, time and uh, score. Chunks are leading 7 0 in the first quarter. Everett, pretty good job. Comes up to the 47 yard line. It's going to be third and about six. I think the game plan here, Rob, is for the Lions to run the football. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, we've said it, I think, all season long. You, you have to be able to run the ball. Right. They're, do, they're doing different things with Kai and, uh, and with Hart just to. Uh, See where the soft section of the Borica defense may be. Guy steps to the left of Hart. Long count. Hart back the pass. Dugan to Dugan underneath. And he's going to be, I think, a little bit short. About the 40, it's it's about the 47 of uh, Bill Ricker. So it's, it is going to be close. Picked up about five. Lions are going to have a third, fourth down here, and let's see how many. Put that. They're going to measure. That's how close it is, then. I'm surprised your eyes couldn't pick that right up, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I figure by the fourth quarter we'll get used to the the view, and it'll be too late. <laughs> it would be nice if they played a little closer to our end of the football field, uh, which they did on this scoring drive. There it is. Take a look. First down. It's a first down. So Chelsea comes up with a uh, first down on this drive at the 47 yard line. And officially, I have Kai for uh, seven carries of 40 yards in the touchdown. And he's coming on as the season has progressed, too. His uh, rushing statistics have improved as well. It's now uh, over 500 yards for the season having missed uh, two or three games. Kai tosses to the side, it's completed. And a good turn up the field. Engelhardt on the reception. Nice job by Engelhardt. Tackled by the Riggers number seven, Cole Dillon. About five yards. Yep. I believe that was Powell, 14. Oh. Yep. That's how far away we are. <laughs> Besides, Dave's yeah, I'm eyes old. are about hey, I'm old too. 25 years younger than Riles. <laughs> Second and five. Dugan in motion. And the Lions keep bring it back to inside reverse. Yeah, they ran the counter to Kai off of that motion to Dugan. And uh, nice, nice backfield action there. It does confuse the defensive linebackers. And first down. First down. Picked up about seven, I think. Yeah, they're going to snap this one from the 37-yard line. Lions using up a lot of the first quarter here. Guys. Rick gets outside, makes oh. a cut, stays on his feet. Fights it down to the 30-yard line. What an aggressive, nice run by Kai Everett. Yes, nice move there uh, by Kai. He 
Very patient. Sar was clogged up, bounced to the outside. Covering the ball well. By an offensive line so far has been outstanding in this football game. Long count, Coach Peterson in his fifth season with the Lions. On the run by Kai. And this time, nothing. Gets stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So it's going to be second and ten. Well, Rickett did a nice job to shut that down. Good penetration that time by number 54, Bornstein. And number 58, I believe it is. And that player is... Let's see if we can get that. I don't one. have that number, so either. maybe that wasn't who I'm trying to... No, I think we do. It's on the other side of our program. I have been 50. Awesome. I don't think it was because no, it's I, think it's, I think it's oh. 52. That's a quarter. That's a quarter. Quarter has run out. The Lions on top by a score of seven to nothing. A good start by the Chelmsford football team to take the lead on a nine-yard touchdown run by Kai Everett. And the Lions are driving now. They're going to have a second and ten. Third and five, actually. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right, third <laughs> and five. Well, this is going to be the test. We're going to have to rely, uh, rely on Rob and Dave's eyes because the ball is going to be down at the other end. Far, the far away. <laughs> it's also the, the... We're going to take a quick break. We're going to be back with Thanksgiving, pre-Thanksgiving Day action from Fenway Park. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, second quarter action, start of second quarter action from Fenway Park the day before Thanksgiving on a uh, Tuesday afternoon. Chumps are on top by a score of seven to nothing. They're facing a third and five. All right, we're going to jump ahead and say it's Wednesday afternoon, but it is Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I am really messed up. Yeah. Our timing is all off. Our timing is off. It's the altitude. <laughs> it's the altitude. We're up much higher than normal here. Hot. Going to throw it. Rolls to his right. Looks for a He's going to keep five one. Down the loss, the 30 to the 29. Yep. Nice job yep. by Ryan. Did a nice job. Three yards. Everybody seemed to be covered. Looks like about fourth down and maybe three. Yeah. The angle of, on the uh, chains is not very yeah, good for us. Not good no, at no. all. But I think that's about right. Uh, yards to go on the board says two. So. Fourth and two. Big play for the Lion offense here. Blitz. Uh, might be going to change the play, you think? Yep. Well, that was that was a long count. Just to take a look. Hot going through everything. And incomplete. Looking for, I think that's, is that Dugan down there? I believe that's Brooks. Brooks, yeah. Just his first game back. So Bill Rickett comes up with the stop on fourth and two. And they will take over. Should have let him catch it. Yeah. Again, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Well, they're getting ready to start play. At last discussion with um, Coach Hart, there was a 2,000 or more tickets sold, um, kind of an equal distribution. And the, the, there's a good-sized crowd here. Yeah. And um, there's a lot of seats filled, and, and fans had an opportunity to uh, rent the uh, luxury boxes, and uh, they were all sold out. Booster Club did a great job organizing uh, trips in, buses. First and 10, Bill Wicker. And the Lions are there to stop that run. Yeah, about a one yard gain. Yeah. Thomas Brown, I think. Yeah, it was. He ran right into Thomas. Defame on the ball, the ball carrier. 
It's going to be a second and almost 10. Ball just short of the 30 yard line. Ooh, a wide snap. Toss underneath completed. Agara is off to the races and probably not catching. And he stepped out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds, yes. He hustled right there. Yeah, right. yeah, Grant. Good hustle by Grant. Yep, and we are around the uh, Lion. 13-yard line. 13-yard line. Algaro on the uh, reception. He fell oh, off that's a couple Brooks. of tackles. It's Brooks. Brooks on the Ran hustle. down. 12-yard line, folks. First game back, and uh, after missing about six or seven games. And look at Brooks come get him. And line should have had that stop for about a four-yard gain. That's correct, there some, Dave. There was some... Uh, Five missed tackles. Yeah. First and 10 for Ricker at the 12. Big play to help their offense. He's their primary receiver, Ogara, number 25. Split to the bottom of the screen now. Off balance to the right. QB sweep right is my guess. Yep, that's what it is. String him out a little and stop him for a loss. For a loss, yes. Back hey, to Cowell, nice job. Cowell back to about the 18. I'm sorry, foot. 14. 14. That's a loss of a couple. Chumps with defense is hitting hard. That was a good tackle. Here it is. Thomas Brown pile on. Yeah. A couple of pile on points, we used to call it. <laughs> Feels good, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Chumps with defense, though, got uh, more and more stingy as the season went along. Second and 12, Bill Ricker. Three receivers, top of the screen. Gentile keeps it himself. And he comes across the 10. That's going to be third and about uh, six or seven. Being marked on the seven. It started, so that's uh, it's going to be third and five. Yeah, they can't get the first down. Yes, they can. Taking a timeout with uh, 8.38 to play, second quarter. Yeah, that definitely hinges the play call. It sure does. This would be a terrific momentum stopper for the Lions to come up here on defense. Leading 7 to nothing in the football game. Hockey parents and hockey fan or players will know what we mean about the long distance because this is like having uh, the charge, the change of being at one end of the uh, rink and the play being at the other end. Three timeouts for half. This is what work is first. We're trying to uh, cash in on that long pass play to the car. Lions have to keep their head, be uh, aware of any trick plays down here, too. Uh, the Wicker has a tendency sometimes to uh, try to do a few different things. They have to stay on sides if yeah. they can get a first down. That may have been one of the uh, reasons they couldn't get the play <laughs> straightened around real yeah. quick. All right, they're coming back onto the field. So a seven-yard touchdown run by Doravel Dethame 
The Ricker is one point away from tying this football game. Just a couple of missed tackles. Yeah, again, that's that whole drive. A kicker is number two. game up to this point yep. it's a battle as most Bill Ricker Chelmsford games are Chunk. we're going to take a break we'll be back with second quarter action The Ricca timeout. Lions still have three. Lions have two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. Gray and Engelhardt at the top of the screen. Gives it to Kai. Not much there for him to run with. No gain on the play. It's going to be second and ten. Right, you know, is pulling. Uh, Two, uh, two linemen, and, and they seem to get, be getting bogged down at the point of attack. Yeah, we're just not clearing anybody out. Second and ten, three wides to the right. Ah, looks to the right. Looks, 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 fires, and throws it out of bounds. It's going to be second and ten. No one was open on that play. Heads up play. Yep, yep. it was. You'll see here, it's, uh, it's well covered by Bill Ricca. Good decision on the flat was covered. Yep. Third and 10, Chelsea. Empty backfield for Hart. Looking to, down the field, looking down the field, falling down the field for Dugan. He oh, it, yes. Yes. I thought he might have gotten one foot down, but uh, apparently he didn't. The uh, official was right on the spot. Replay. Check our replay. The official is right there to see it, yeah. I would agree he was out of bounds. Yeah, his left foot was close. Close, real close. Here's our replay. Couldn't really see, but boy, that was a close call. Gable Gray to punt it. They seem to be a little... Good snap. Gable does not kick it very well. And it goes out of bounds short of the 50-yard line. How about the 40? Yeah. So... Each team has returned uh, very bad punts to each other. It's about the 37-yard 
yard line. It's a short, definitely a short field for Bill Ricker here. 728 to play, quarter number two of a 7-7 football game. Ryan scoring first, Bill Ricker answering on their last possession. And you can't give a pretty good offense uh, these short fields because it's going to be very difficult to defend it. There's a one minute, two second possession. Not what you're looking for. No. Two incompleted passes do that. The workout again empties the backfield. Three to the right, two to the left. Argentio. He steps and drops back, steps up in the park, park and then takes it. Thomas Brown. Thomas Brown Thomas on the Brown. sack. That's going to be a loss of about six on the play. Here comes Thomas. Right up the gut. Uh, nice move there by Thomas. So it's going to be second and 16 for Bill Ricker. And you know if Thomas gets at least a hand on you, it's not going to come off easy. <laughs> no, that, that one is uh, real true. Again, empty backfield. Gorgo steps up, he's got a lot of room, being chased from behind, and taken down at the 35, so it's going to be third down and about eight. Uh, it's going to be, uh, yep, almost, uh, almost 10 when looking at it. Yeah, he started at the 37, I think, so. I'm uh, just looking at the chain. Yeah. And they're going to call it on the scoreboard. What a great uh, sight this is. Sixpins going to call time out again, I think. He's a little bit upset with his uh, offensive unit right now. And the Lions go back to the sideline, get some instruction on defense. It is uh, 6 one left in this in the half, second quarter. Bill Rick is down to one timeout for this half. We've got the window wide open here, and it's it's not too bad. No, it isn't. The uh, up up top here, it's it's hot. The heat is on, so <laughs> oh. it's just not getting down to you. Oh, thank you. There's a lot of hot air there. <laughs> Flag is uh, still on the. It is. It's not blowing at all now. There's a chance that the uh, sideline coaching staff. All right, a big third down play here for Bill Ricker. I think Chumps is going to hold him, have to hold him twice. I mean, you know, yeah. Burke is not going to punt. No. Nope. No. Nope. This is where you might see a gadget. Algar is in the slot, the top of the screen. That's where they're looking. Oh, uh, incomplete, incomplete, I think. Oh, uh, fumble. Incomplete. No, that's incomplete. Great stick there. Yep. Fourth that's down. Well covered. Oh, boy. Who, which, I, which, I thought it was a 14. Which jersey was that? Well, uh, that was 11. It was a Kaiko. Yeah, it was Kaiko. Kaiko. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great right hit. Up. Great hit right on the ball. Fourth down. Good call, David. Bill Ricker is uh, again taking their time on the sideline. They they almost uh, look like calling plays here that uh, they're surprised <laughs> that they have to call any. Yeah. They look confused. They do. Got to be getting close to a delay of game here. And another timeout. They burn their last. Yeah, they have no timeouts left, and there uh, there is 5:54 to play. There was a lot of confusion out there. Yeah. Boy, there has been, Dave. You're but right. This has not been a good series. Yeah. Normally, you, you know, the balls where the on the 40. 
35. 35, 35 or so. Yeah. Normally, you could stand right even with the ball, and you can you can yell enough that they can even hear you from the sideline. But Billerick is beyond the 50, on on basically the opposite side of the ball. So it's it's something I don't you know it it doesn't ever happen. And uh, you know I don't like I said Chumsha did a lot to simulate that during practice. Uh, during the scrimmage sessions, coach uh, either Kuchu or um, Houston would go to the other end of the field to signal in plays and such uh, just to get used to the distance. Uh, that's a good point, Rob. That's preparation, Rob. You're right. That's that's so important. All right. We're seconds away from a, a crucial fourth down call here by Bill Ricker. They need nine yards on fourth down. Gentile screen. Oh, they got him. Oh, he's going to be close. I don't think. That was a blitz. They sent a blitz. I don't think he got him. it. I think he's it's short. Inside the 30. I don't think he's got it. No. Mm. The, the stake is right on the 30. Had to get to the 26. Uh, They're going to measure it again. I'm sorry, the 20, 26. The, the stake, I believe, is on the 25. What a huge measurement this is. <laughs> nice shot on the big screen here. Yeah, the jumbotron out there in center field is giving us a very good look. Pull that chain real tight. No way. He didn't make sure. No. First down, Chumsford. They've held them now twice on fourth down calls. So Chelmsford takes over at the 26 yard line, first and 10. We need to have a good drive here. Yeah, time, this, this yep. time drive right now. The old fog and mist are rolling in here. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna yep. test the Fenway lights. Yep. Doesn't look wet down on the field. No, but they don't seem to be slipping or you, anything. You look up at the lights and uh, sure enough, there's a lot of uh, Precipitation. What a great job by the uh, grounds crew of Fenway Park to yeah. set this whole thing up. Yeah. In two days, they've had four high school games, or will have four high school games. Chunks were a little confused. Okay, three to the uh, wides to the left of Hart. Engelhart in motion. Engelhart with the sleep. Comes across the 30. Nice and run. pretty good first down yardage. Looks like he's out at the th 34. Pretty close to the 34. It's about That's an eight yard pickup on first down. Yep, just, just short of the 35. Second down and a couple for the Lions. They're right in front of their bench so they can get the play <laughs> signaled in pretty easily. <laughs> Toss and caught. What a good catch. That, that looked like a lost yardage. To the 34, that was Gable Gray. Gable Gray, I tell you, he was he was smothered right off the get-go. Yes, yeah. he was. Look, almost looked like Huskwala. Yeah, with, uh, had him by the front of the shirt. Here's yeah. the replay right here. Yeah, by Just the shirt. Front, but that missed, was close. Missed the block there. It was uh, unfortunate. Third down and two. Bill Ricker looking past by the Lions. Turn up. That's and it. And first down. Good job that time by Hart. Yeah, he lowered his shoulder. Yeah. He definitely was the hammer on that hit. He definitely he was. was. Here he is, Kai Everett blocking. And uh, Ryan loaded his shoulder and got the first down. Lions are on the 40. First and ten, Chumsford. Everett. Gets through a hole. Picks up pretty good yardage across the 45. Okay. Wisely followed Thomas Brown. Yes. I know I would. <laughs> we had second and about two at the 
of the 48. Clock is running at 4.05 to play in the first half. Lions need to pick up the pace just a little bit here. Toss. Oh, that was almost picked off. That's the uh, second time that that's happened right. by that play by that defender. It's doing a good job. I don't know. I have to get his number. It was almost like a flanker screen. Yeah. And he's uh, snuffing it out very nicely. I want to say number seven. That's he's, what it looked like. Yeah, it yeah. is. He's the end defender. Yeah. And that's he's. Yep, there he is. He's well schooled on that uh, that play. That's the second time. Get your hands up. Hot on the keep. Hot keeps it, runs straight ahead, gets across the 50. And first down. First down. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. North and south, right, Dave? Exactly, Coach. North and south. Ryan's a tough runner. He's a tough guy to bring down. Across the 50 into Bill Ricker territory. 329 to play. Quarter number two. Need a chunk play here. And this is Everett on the uh, counter. And that should have been a horse collar. Yeah, that's... Uh, if you uh, see the replay, watch. He's Chancellor great. Coach's error. Not happy. Watch. That's oh, a horse collar. Absolutely. No, definitely. I mean, his hand was there after the play, too. <laughs> Coach, you look up horse collar in a dictionary. <laughs> All right, it looks like that. Watch the back end. Yeah, there's the horse collar. His hand it. is still on it. Pulling his jersey. Hart rolls up left, gonna throw it deep, He's looking for a man, and incomplete. Good, de good coverage out there. Bill Ricker has covered the Chelmsford uh, wideouts well. That was Gray they were looking for. Yeah. Just, just kind of underthrowing these passes. I don't yeah. know if there's some swirl down there, but yeah, that's Gables. that's gotta go over everybody's head, and, and the only chance to catch that is outside near the sideline. Gable did a nice job breaking that up, actually. Yes. Yeah. It's third down for Chumsford with nine yards to go for the first down. 7-7 seven, seven football game. Late in quarter number two. Hart looks over the middle. Fires has a receiver outside. That's Everett. Everett breaks into the opening. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And down to about the five-yard line. Uh, he's out on about the, uh, I believe it's about the eight. There's the chunk play that the Lions needed. They have three timeouts left. That's a fantastic play. Just kind of a bubble or a wheel out of the backfield. Nice move there. You have an athlete with a ball in his hands. Gable getting in front. That's good block. Yeah. That's a 40-yard 40, 40 pass. Thanks, Dave. And it's down to about the five. It's on the eight. Is it? Yep. Okay, sorry. Yep. On the scoreboard, the jumbo board. Yeah, you're right. It is the eight. Check that. 41-yard gain. First and goal for the Lions. Trying to take a lead going into halftime. Hart keeps it. Good call. Down to the five. He's at the five. Now he's at the five. Yeah, now we got him there. <laughs> we knew he would be there at one point. <laughs> Second and goal at the five. Now use those timeouts, coach. Yep. Take talk things over. Yep. Jack Myers, one of the offensive linemen. Let's see if we can get a couple more of them. Mike Beerworth, number 74. Jo Josiah Russell, 71. 53 is uh, O'Brien, Ben O'Brien, center. Hot on the keep. He's inside the five. Now we could use a timeout. It's going to be third and goal at about the three-yard line, I think. See Pretty close, yeah. I know he doesn't want to leave Bill Ricker any time on the clock, but... Ryan, a little quick on that. Thomas Brown, he outran Thomas Brown to yeah. the hole. <laughs> if he had waited for Thomas, it's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. Yep. Yep. They're at the three. Third and goal. 
Hot again. Long count. Time out. out. Good call. Good call. 41 seconds to go. The Lions are playing a heck of a football game, as I said, coming into this game as underdogs. Bill Ricker won their first eight games of the season uh, and then stubbed their toe us first seven games of the season and stubbed their toe against Andover and then against Westfield. The Lions are on the two, 40 seconds before the half. With Third two timeouts. Down, with two timeouts, and uh, they cannot get a first down. So they There's the Jumpsford huddle. Yeah. Well, it's important to come away with points. Obviously, yep. a touchdown is what you want, but even if you, if you get the three, because you come out in the second half and you have to kick it off to Bilrica. This is a uh, offensive line touchdown right now. Do we uh, do we know how to run the, uh, the, the, <laughs> the the play where everybody lines up and the the push push the push the tush push? Yep. This would be the spot for it. All right. Well, I certainly like straight ahead stuff. Straight yep. ahead, I'd call it the 58 play right behind Thomas Brown. <laughs> He's our guy right now. Brown and O'Brien. Yep. Go get him. Hart is stopped. Just short. At about the one it, foot line. It looks, yeah, very. I watched the linesman go in, and uh, he's. Oh, uh, he's right there, yeah. He's right on that. Uh, oh, yeah. Good forward progress by Ryan was good. Could I take a timeout, coach. I would call the same play. Yeah, I, I would will, too. I and will take you guys. a timeout. Yeah. You might want to take one. Yep. Come on. There they go. Okay. They did. 15, 11 seconds to play. This is the play of the first half. Got to get this one in. No field goals. Got to get a touchdown here. A little bit of wind now. Uh, you can see the, yep. the yep. Flags, uh, flags on top of the goalposts is blowing from left to right as we look at it. No, it's... Uh, 11 seconds left. We have 11 seconds to go. Lions are on the doorstep. If we can get a shot of where the football actually is, I know it's inside, the, just inside the one yard line, I believe. This is, this is where we had uh, last year at Thanksgiving. Uh, we got it to the one yard line, had a little bit of trouble, but uh, hopefully this ends differently. There's our score on the uh, screen, seven to seven. Okay, now where's our football? And it is. <laughs> we still haven't found it. He hasn't put it down. Oh, He's it's keeping been it under dry. the towel. But where he's standing, it's going to be about the one-foot line. His heels are on the goal line, yeah. the officials. Oh, yes, and absolutely. I, I like going for this because it's a 0-0 zero -zero game, yep. essentially. Right. So. Oh, absolutely going for this. Hart. He's in. Yes. Touchdown. There we go. Ryan Hart puts the Lions on top. With six seconds to play in the first half, I think Here this it is. is. I think this was the the Kai Everett push, because I so? think Kai push. was the one that went behind Ryan and gave him a little bit of a tush push. That was a great Here's drive. The replay. By the Lions. Oh yes, it was. Yes, That's it Kai. was. <laughs> Kai, nice job. Just our QB ISO. Yep. yep. Pat McConnell to attempt the extra point out of the hole of Nate Dugan. Ball is down. Kick is up, and no good. It is no good. No good. A little That's pressure in there. I'm not sure if it didn't. Someone didn't get a hand on it. That old. We don't make the extra point. Bugaboo comes back to bite the Lions, but they do have the lead at the moment. Let's see if we had that replay. We could see what happened on that kick. Yeah, I believe there was some pressure in there, like Rob said. I think Pat just got a little. A little quick. Yeah, little either, quick. Yeah, either he lifted his head slightly or someone got a hand on it. It's a 13 to 7 score in favor of the Lions. I'd feel a lot better with 14 on the board, though. <laughs> but I have to give the Lions credit. They've played a great first half, yeah, offensively they have. and defensively. 
two deep, uh, two fourth down stops. Yep. To to get a turn to uh, get possession, and the result of the first fourth down stop was a was our touchdown, I believe. I think you're right. Yeah. Well, so yep. that uh, set up that score with a short field. Okay, we don't need any runbacks now. We no, just need to cover this kick, get into halftime. I'd like to see this just going to the end zone. Oh, it's going out of bounds. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, no time comes off the clock. Right. Berwicka has a chance for one last play. They're going to make him kick it They're again. They're going to make him kick it again. I don't blame him. Oh, I do. You got a, you got a chance at the 35. I think he just squibbed us right down the middle. Yeah, you just you just tried an onside kick here. Unless uh, Coach Sigsbury has one of those uh, special pass plays yeah. off on, on a kickoff that he yeah. wants to uh, try, Re realizing it's just six seconds. All right, Michael has it teed up again. Let's see what happens this time. Without my glasses. Oh, right through the hands of one player, and that maybe should run out two seconds. They're going to show three seconds on the scoreboard. The ball is at the 36-yard line. So the Lions have to defend one play here. This has been a first half that the Lions, I think, are very happy with. Again, they were not supposed to win this football game. No, they've uh, they've done very well defensively and and offensively. I uh, think all along, kind of a rebuilding year, true rebuilding year, because you graduated so many seniors that played a lot of football for Chumstead. And uh, we t mentioned it at the, near the end of the season, you want to go out with some wins because you've got a lot of young kids that can play some good football and they're going to be with this team for two two or three more years. So um, the, the team, I think, was was ready for this and, and I think the win will go a huge way for the beginning of next year. Makes that off-season workouts a lot better, doesn't it? Bill Rick is going to use a running play to Doravel, get him on the ground, and that will end the first half. Okay, the Lions will take a 13-7 lead into halftime. The uh, half times here, I believe, are 10 minutes. Is that correct? Uh, there is an itinerary, and yeah. they follow it to the minute. They certainly do. Yeah. Let's see. I think it's about 10 minutes. Yeah, this is well orchestrated down here. Yeah. I haven't seen anything put on the any time put no. up yet. So plan on it being 10 minutes, and we'll be back with the second half kickoff. The Lions will be kicking it off, which has been an adventure so far. 10 minutes. That's it. Yeah. Yeah.
Hello, welcome to the final fall season and Thanksgiving edition of CHS TV's Time Out, your weekly recap for everything in CHS athletics. I'm your host, Nate Wilder. In this episode, we will take a look at the CHS awards recipients and the Lions taking on their rival Bill Ricca Indians at Fenway. There were many athletes that were recipients of MVC All-Conference Awards this season. From the boys' soccer team, Spencer Forgan, Vincent McGann, John Kivlin, and Joe Lococo earned honors from the Merrimack Valley Conference. The girls' volleyball team also saw a few players be acknowledged following their playoff season. Kira Ward and Ellen Griswold made first-team All-Conference for their efforts. Jacob Carlson had a fantastic season for the CHS golf team. He made it to the state championship meet. He put up a valiant effort shooting a 72 and tied for 35th place. He was named the MVC Division II Player of the Year. This fall season concludes with your Chumsford Lions taking on their bitter rival, the Bill Ricca Indians, in historic Fenway Park in their annual Thanksgiving game. Here's some stats about this historic rivalry. This will be their 94th meeting of the two schools. The Lions lead the series all time with a record of 59, 29, and three. Bill Ricca has won the contest the last two years in a row. This is the first time the match will be played on a neutral site. Thanks for watching this special edition of CHS TV's Time Out. I'm your host, Nate Wilder. We'll see you next time. Go Lions and beat Bill Ricca!
Welcome back, everyone, for the start of the second half from Fenway Park. Once again, thanks to Dan Hart for the job he's done, to Tom Peterson for the job that he's done, and all the people in his crew, and I hope he passes that along to everybody. Bruce Byam, Howie Neal, Rob Russo, David Markham. Bill Ricker is just now coming back onto the field to start the second half. The Lions scored first on a uh, Kai Everett eight-yard touchdown run, and then Bill Ricker answered with a Dornival uh, Defamy touchdown, and Hart with a one-yard run. And that's how we stand right now. We did miss the extra point on the second TD. Let's hope that that does not become a factor. Uh, just, uh, Rob, this is a, uh, a little different. It's like flipping, uh, it's like deferring to the second half. Uh, except now we're kicking instead of receiving. Mm, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of, you know, but it's, and, but we did score at the end of the half. Yep, so with about six seconds to go. So that, we got the first part of that, right? Yeah, we did. You can see the score on the screen. One of the things uh, you can't see on the our broadcast is there's a camera and, and it's following the Bill Ricky kids out of the locker room. Of course, they're in, the Red Sox locker room and Chumpshed was in the visiting uh, locker room and I've been back there and those locker rooms are really nice. So this is this is really a special treat for all these kids. And as you notice they're taking all of their equipment with them. They can't go back into the uh, dugouts the locker rooms after this game is over. They must exit the field. Another game to follow Fitchburg Lemonster. And they're, they're probably going to take over the locker rooms. Uh, as we speak or, sure or shortly yep get dressed get yep. ready and their games at 6:30 so yeah and you can bet that it will start as close to 6:30 <laughs> as that can make it yeah nice job by the Fenway people hope everybody's getting ready for a great thanksgiving tomorrow and let's hope the young men of Chelmsford can continue to play with the inspiration of their captain Kyle Wilder who's here tonight and a terrific story in the paper today online uh, of what some of the things that Kyle has to, had to go through and is still going through. This is a quality, quality young man and I know that he'll uh, get get through it. And that's in the in the Herald, online in the Herald, right? That's right. Yeah, right. that's right. For you folks out there, it's... Uh, Coach Peterson's wondering why uh, Bill Rick is getting all this extra time. And I'm wondering, quite frankly, too. They have clocks just like Chelsea did. And they're still not totally on the sideline yet. Well, I don't know why they don't just cross the field. Exactly. They're, at this point. They're, they're waiting him to go all the way to the end and cross at the end line. All the Barricka coaches are still walking down the sideline of the yeah. other side to get to their sideline, so this could take a bit. And Coach Sigsbury, uh, he's in no hurry. He's standing at about the 35-yard uh, line. Talking to the chain gang. Hey, yeah. that, I, yeah. I was going to say, is he talking to the chain? I think so. I think he wondered about those two measurements maybe that were made. <laughs> Can you shorten that chain? Yeah, up? take a couple <laughs> links on yeah. that chain. The chain crew all has green jackets on, so I, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's their home game. Oh, their home game, I, right? I think we're just about ready to go. Hopefully, first half moved along pretty quickly. Nice job by the Chelmsford marching band at halftime, making the trip down here. It's so unusual, though, to have Chumford Billerica not playing on Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's, it's a real different feeling. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It's, I know. I, it's, it's right. To, Coach Markham and I were talking about it this week. I, I've been coaching football for 39 yeah. years, and I watched Thanksgiving games three or four years before I started coaching. And this is the first time I've never not played on Thanksgiving. For me, Rob, I can go back to 1957 
And I've seen every one since. And a squib kick by Beerworth, very smart play. Bill Ricker covers it at the 32 yard line. So, first and 10, Bill Ricker. That's a good kick. That was. That was. Very effective. No return. Kicked it uh, deep enough. And let's see what Bill Ricker does coming out, starting on offense. This technically is a Bill Ricker home game. Next year's Turkey Day will be in Chelmsford. And I'm pretty sure it will be in Chelmsford because I, I don't think you get this opportunity no, I don't, <laughs> don't very think, frequently. Don't right. think we're going to get two in a row anyway. All right, Bill Ricker, first and 10, 32-yard line. And good stop by the Lions. Right. Death right the ball carrier. About a five-yard gain. Yeah. 30, about the 37. There he is. On, uh, we're on, yeah, there nice. is. Cooper and Cowell. Cowell there, one of the tacklers as well. And uh, Gentile hands it off to him again. And he's up to, it looks like, first down yardage on two carries. Yes. Bill Ricker, I'm sure, had a heart-to-heart uh, -heart on we're going to run this football against this football team, uh, against Chelmsford, and I think that's what they've started out to try to do. Here he is. First and 10, Bill Ricker. Same, Same thing, three in a row. Wow. This time the Lions are going to stop him for a loss. Fool me once, fool me twice, right. but not three times. All right. right on the 45. Here he is. This is Doravel. So that's going to be a loss of about two on the play. Second and 12. That was uh, Ben O'Brien, I think, initiated that yeah. stop. And he did Russell. a great job in the end. Zaya Russell as well. Gentile keeps it. Gets uh, a few yards yeah. to the just shy of the 50. It's going to be third down. I think it was uh, Joe Nordegren. Nordegren, yep. yes. yes. 22. Nice tackle. Okay, third and about five for the Indians. Again, a long time getting this play in from the sideline. Sixbury gets this play into his quarterback. I noticed the uh, all the Barricka kids are wearing a wristband, looking at the plays when they're called in. That's going to take some time. And false start. False start. Yep. Left tackle. Back him up five yards. Going to be third and nine. A third and ten. Yeah, he can't do that. No, it's actually third and 11. Lions have a chance to get Bill Ricker off the field here now to start the third quarter. Doraville hands it off and that was big on a crisscross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're on the uh, the Lion 47 and it's fourth down and it's fourth and about two. Good job by Grant there. Aiden Gibbons the uh, ball carrier fourth and two. Maybe uh, even less than two. They're, they're saying fourth and one. On yeah. Ord. I think that's more accurate. End off, and picking up, picking up the one, and plenty more. This is Defame Dorival for the touchdown. For a 46-yard touchdown run, Bill Ricker has tied the score in their first drive of the second half. Just didn't set the corner on that uh, one. They strike quickly. There it is. And this tackle there. Yeah. And once he's in the open, he's a tough uh, guy to bring down. There it is. 
the Zenia end to attempt the extra point, the go-ahead extra point. And it is good. So, extra point time favors Bill Ricca. 14-13, 8.45 to play in quarter number two. We'll take a break and be back with action. just like you, fascinated by stars. <sighs> but now I get to search for life in the universe. And who knows, maybe life is looking for us too. So we're like aliens to them? Yeah. Does anyone want to be a scientist now? I do. Awesome, we need more girls in STEM. Maybe we can find aliens. Back to Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. We are in the press box and having a great time. We being Bruce Beim, Howie Neal, Rob Russo, David Markham. Bilirka has just scored on a 46-yard Doraville Dethame run to put them on top following uh, Vizinia's extra point. Short kick and one-handed catch coming back across the 30. Yep. And that was the number forward. six. Nick Lapoli, Lapoli, right. Nick Lapoli. Thank you, Dave. That's and one of those up. ones you let it go to the fast guy behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you don't need to try to make a circus catch, really. All right, first and 10 chumps. Let's see what they can do with their first offensive possession of the second half. Looking for a football, I think. <laughs> Here comes one. Okay, Chelmsford will start at the 32-yard line. <laughs> Hart, the quarterback. Kai Everett, the running back. Three wides to the left. Gable Gray to the right. Everett tries to cut from a block, but gets nothing. Yeah. Bill Ricker set the edge on that play very, very well. Yeah, I mean, it looked to me like they had a defense, had the slant, had the defensive line slant that way, and that uh, gave them an opportunity to set the edge and gain some penetration. Second so, and 11. Trumps is outside zone. Kai, I see what Kai was doing. He's trying to read the blocks and cut it up but there was an answer from Bilricka. Bilricka pretty much man to man on the, the wide receivers here for the Lions. They are. And Hart rolls that way. Looks, looks, keeps it himself and gets uh, not much. It's going to be third and long for Chumpsford. Right back to the line of scrimmage basically. And Dave, with, it, with that man-to-man, -man, they're doing a pretty good job with it. They are. I mean, I don't really see anyone open on those patterns no, right there. No, I don't either. This is unusual. Uh, Dugan has usually been able to run wide open in most games. Hart looks. Throwback screen. Kai, oh, we almost fumbled that. Bill Rickett covered it. I Fourth love down. a good screen. It's just... Uh, one player just get by the blockers. Yep, exactly. They had it set up. It was just one guy there. But Kai did a remarkable job to hold on to this thing. Oh. <laughs> one player slowed it down. Gable Gray to punt it. 6.50 to play. Quarter number three. This is a better kick by Gable, but not real deep. Gets a good Chelmsford roll. Yeah. And blown dead at the 45. It was hit. Yeah. It, 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 it touched a Borica player. I thought so, but I'm so far away, I didn't <laughs> believe what I was seeing. And covered by uh, Grant. Engelhardt, I think. 
Coach Sigsbury is not happy. A little bit of discussion here. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think it touched him. Well, let's see. Uh, we have the replay. Here's the play. Oh, maybe by the finger. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Some, sometimes it's better to be lucky. Yeah. First and ten, Chelmsford. Let's get a snap off here. Sigsbury is uh, berating one of the officials. Well, they're going to replay again on our screen here, folks. And looks like. Uh, but from that side judge's angle, maybe it looked like it touched him. Oh, Nothing he thought wrong. it touched 52. Yeah, exactly. He did kind of a pirouette to get out of the yeah. way. I don't think it did touch him. Everett. Short game. Two. Our zone blocking is letting some in some penetration. Yes, it is. And uh, not giving any running lanes. Second and ten. The Rick is playing a three five and so they've only got three down linemen. Um, so we're not getting to that second level fast enough. Ball is on the Bill Rick a 45 yard line. Lions trying to take advantage of a huge break here. Everett uh, not able to uh, get any penetration into the uh, secondary. No. Should have followed his block. Yeah. Number 78 for Bill Ricker uh, made an excellent play on that. Mark uh, Dillon. Third down, long. Chelsea coach is trying to get this play in. And they do. Dugan is going to come to the slot on the right with Gable Gray. We got some confusion in the, where people are supposed to be. And timeout. Timeout for Ricker. Well, he's not afraid to use him, huh? Bill Ricker's uh, Sigsbury takes a timeout. Yeah, he's not afraid to use them. That's for sure. Yeah, I think he wanted a still... second chance at the official. <laughs> yeah. That's what you get for walking late on the field. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Taking your time. I mean, there is no replay in high school no. football, so. No. No. There's right. nothing that can be done. He's pleading his case for the next call, I'm sure. Huge break for the Lions. Yep. You got to capitalize, though. We have uh, five oh two to play. It's I'm a firm believer in uh, a one way to break down man-to-man uh, -man pass coverage is a crossing pattern or right. scissor crossing right. receivers to, to get open. Instead of the uh, straight down the field, Instead of right? straight down the field. Yeah. You know, that makes it easy for a Third and ten for Chelmsford. Here comes Here's Dugan the cross. across the middle. And they threw it behind him, and it's incomplete. Fourth down. Ryan waited too long. Yeah, he was open he was, uh, right away. He was open over the center area of the offensive floor. He just, just didn't have the time. No, and just to get him the ball yep. is all you really want to do. Right. Let's okay. try this again. Yeah, Gray will kick it. This time he's standing <laughs> at the uh, his own 45-yard line. Needs to get a good punt off. The last couple have not been his specials. Gets a decent snap. Steps into this one and gets a good kickoff. Bill Ricker gets away from it. Chelmsford covers it right. at the. Oh, that's a good punt. One yard line. Yep. One. That's that's the Gable Gray we've seen all year. Yeah, and a good coverage by uh, for the Lions. So Bill Ricker will have 99 yards in front of him. 99 and a half. Yeah. Angle heart on the uh, down on the hustle play. A safety would give the Lions a lead here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. 
One thing at a time. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> Flip the field. Let's let's, let's hold them back here. Let's and just set punted. the edge. Let's, let's yeah. set the edge. Right. That's true. That would be a good start. Bill Ricker's second possession of the second half. Four, four, four to play. Third quarter. And they are as far away from us as they can possibly yes, get. Yes, they are. Gentle standing in his end zone. Pass. Going to throw it out of the end zone. And it's incomplete. Second and ten. Intended for Ogara. That's a tough pass from the end zone. I think they were trying to hit the Lions thinking they were going to be asleep. Well, I, I always, or my thought, or I picked it up somewhere, is to throw fades out of the end zone. They're safer. Yeah, true. Yeah, over, over the middle's got a lot of uh, risk to it. Yeah. Because a fade, you just step, you just throw it. You don't have to wait for the guy to get open in the middle. Unless it's third and long, and then that's as good as a punt. And uh, Doravel. Not quite to the first down marker yet. It's no. going to be third and about two. It's right on the, I think it's about the nine. Yeah. Of a nine and a half. So he's got short yardage to pick up the first down here. That was a big pickup, though, for them. Yeah, that was their touchdown play. Yeah. That chop just definitely have to, has to set the edge. Third down, short yardage. Couple. Same play. And good result. They have gone to that play now in the second half, and they're going to probably do it until Chunks would figure out a way to stop it. No reason to call a different play. No, absolutely not. Senior running back. I'm okay. sorry, junior running back. Companion play to that could be Gentile keeping it and coming back left. Here he comes. Yeah. Tried to. Connor crisscross. Yeah. He leads, he bleed blocks on that. Gibbons the ball carrier. Ball is at the just inside the 20. Is that correct? Yeah, and they're saying it's on the 20. Okay. It's just about there. You're right. Second and five. Yep. Outside, big yardage, first down. He cut it back up inside this time, but still did what he needed to do. It's been a set steady diet, second half of Death of May, the running back. Lions get, just getting no penetration here. One of the Bulwicka players is kind of limping off the field a little bit. First and ten, Bill Ricker. They've come out of the shadow of their end zone. We're under three minutes to play, quarter number three. And they're not going to change unless you can get them to fumble or stop it somehow. Again, good first down yardage. Oh, the, the Ricker has found a, a way to a, attack. A way to attack. He got it. And we also, we talked about this several times during the year. Our third quarter performances are not usually up to par. Coming back to this side of the field. Gentile. Gentile keeps it himself, gets to the 45. This has been a good drive for Bill Ricker. They have totally uh, used the ground. They're using the clock, and they're advancing the football. Nordegren read that, but he had an inside-out uh, approach, which didn't set the edge the way he needed to. First and 10, Bill Ricker. Slowing the game down now just a little bit with the lead. And this time they did a pretty good job on Mr. Doriel Dethame. Yeah. 
Short gain on the play. Fast third quarter. Down yes, to it is. Under a going to be under a minute when they snap this next one. Second and about nine. Toss to do. Doravel yep. comes across the 450 to about the 46. It's going to be third down and short yardage. Third and about a yard. Almost like an option play there. Yeah, Ooh. it was. It looked like it, Dave. You're right. This could be the last play of quarter number three. Same play. And good stick, but good first tackle. down. And that will run out the clock in the uh, third quarter. Bill Ricca, the only scorer of that quarter. And they are on the march right now. Jones are very much back on their heels. Okay, we will bring the fourth quarter conclusion to you in just a couple of minutes. Angle hot, nice tackle there. Yeah, it was. In the quarter. I think the Lions needed this break. That's a good point, too. Bill Ricker started this, remember, at about the one yard line. Just inside the one. Yeah. yeah. Here are some yeah. highlights. It's been a. Uh, Doraville Dethemay show, and this is the big highlight right here. Had a couple of real good blocks outside that didn't even need to be thrown. And Chelmsford got a big break and couldn't take advantage of it. Incompleted pass. Too bad that one wasn't picked off. <laughs> Would have been nice. I see a lot of white jerseys. Yep. Need one too. on the ball. Okay. The familiar phrase, it's first and ten. Oh, I'm sorry, it's second and nine, I believe, right? I don't know. First and ten. It is first and ten, right. Yep. On the 40. Death May hit at the line of scrimmage. Gains about a yard. He's had more success going to his right than to his left. Oh, that's the identical play. Yeah. Run to the left. Second and nine. Gentile, Gentile keeps it. Yep. Big hole. Close to first down yardage. Down about the 33. Going to be third and a yard and a half to two. This has been a uh, double-headed monster here in the second half. He did have a big hole into the Chelmsford secondary. Engelhardt there to make the stop. Had a good game. Reverse. And running out of the tights of Gara. Bill Ricca set that up well. Bill Ricca has excellent backs with speed. They have a couple of guys that can uh, turn it up and, and do a real good job with the speed. Ogara being one of them. Senior running back or senior wide out. You just, you need that, uh, that outside guy to stay home and set his feet. There's the inside reverse. And not able to make the stop there, one of the chumps with defenders. 
First and 10 inside the 20. Gentile. Gentile straight ahead. He's inside the 15. I don't think unless Bill Ricca fumbles this thing that, that there is any way that they're going to be stopped. They just, uh, they've really found a second gear in this second half. Yeah, they've forgotten the uh, pass, the forward right. pass. Right. Just gone to their ground game. And it's, it's become a power game for them now. They've decided that we're not going to try to trick you. We're going to try to push you around. Second and four. And a whistle and a flag. Offside, illegal procedure. We take any little crumb we can get here. <laughs> yeah. So that's going to back up the Indians uh, five yards, going to make it a second down and nine. Just underway, fourth quarter. I think that was the first negative in this drive. I agree, Rob. This is the drive that Bill Wicker is going to remember. Outside Ogara. Uh, sweep, and that's Ogara. Nice tackle by Campo. It's going to be third and about eight. Eight, Medi yeah, looks like eight. Nice tackle by Campo. Balls on the 15, so. This is, uh, I don't think this is field goal uh, time if they don't get the first down. Got to be Doravel, right? Ogara. Oh, uh, Gentile what? keeps it, and the Lions get All it. Right. Nice play. I am surprised at that call. Nordegren. Nordegren, yeah. yeah. Very surprised at that call by Bill Ricca. It's fourth down, and the ball is back now to the... Where are they? 26. 26. 26. I yep. believe it's 26. There's Nordegren. Very surprised at that call. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why you don't run the ball. Exactly. Get two downs to do it. Yes, absolutely two and... Well, this is the play uh, for Chelmsford's defense right now. Gentile empty backfield. Ogara in the slot. Gentile is flushed out of the pocket, steps up, has a receiver. And did he catch it? Yes, he yes, did. Yes, he did. That hurts. That was a play of the ball game right there, folks. Reception by 21. number 21, Noah Canada. His first catch of the night. First and goal. That Here it is. Yep. Nice sliding catch. Did a nice job stepping up in the pocket there. A couple of jumps with defenders, but that ball was thrown perfectly. And that was an excellent catch. First and goal, Bill Ricca. Inside the, right at the five. And it's going to be second and goal at about the three. Just QB power. Yep. Straight ahead. No chance to uh, hand it off and fumble it. Clock is uh, under seven. Ricca slowing the game down. This could be a 99 and a half yard touchdown drive. Doravel, well, he didn't get there. It's going to be third and goal. Nate Cowell, nice job. Third and goal. Ball is at the, about the one. I'd like to see him drop back and throw it here, wouldn't you? <laughs> Some half, yeah. yeah. 
No. He's going to run to the left. Little penetration for the Lions. Oh, he's in. Touchdown. Yep. Good call, Rob. Just power football. Yeah, yep. Nothing was. fancy. The whole drive. The That's whole exactly drive. what yep. it was. We're bigger than you are, and we're going to uh, use that strength and power, and we're going to score. And that's what they did. So that puts uh, Bill Ricker on top by a score of 20 to 13. It's still a one score game, though. Jumpsuit has six minutes. No. Did he make it? No. 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 I think it was blocked. It's a one score football game. Chelmsford will have six minutes. Yep. An impressive drive, but sort of a uh, little bit of bad taste if you don't get the extra point. Right, right. I don't know if it got tipped or was just a low kick. But we'll we'll be I'm sorry, Howie. No, go right ahead. We're going to take a break. <laughs> we'll uh, discuss that uh, after the break. Hey, Lolo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Bruce Byron, Howie Neal, Rob Russo, David Markham, and the cast of thousands in the truck. And Tom has been here all day. He's got, uh, he's now paying real estate taxes on the truck uh, <laughs> downstairs. Bill Ricker is kicking it off. They lead by seven. Oh, that, they didn't kick it 10 yards. It did, it hit, it hit the chumps of Lyman. Oh, it, I didn't see the deflection. Oh, yeah. It, it bounced right off 34. So they are going to get the ball back. Successful. It's, I don't know if that was an intentional onside. It, it was. We practiced this all week long. But it worked. Watch. Let's, let's see the replay. Yeah. Uh, it, it, okay. It uh, deflected back so much that the Jonesford receiver didn't have a chance to fall on it. I thought it only went about three yards. That's uh, that's how far back it bounced off his leg. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was. Okay, the Lions now in a familiar position, back on defense, trailing 20 to 13. Fourth quarter rapidly disappearing. And Bill Ricker going to use their ground game. He offsets Doraville to the right. Hands Ball. it off. That ball's on the ground. Uh, it came right, yeah, it came right back blocked. to him. Came right back up to him. Yep. So a negative play to start the drive. Here it, here it is. Watch the fumble. Oh, lucky. Uh, yep. Loss of five. Yeah. I mean, Chumsha needs this to be a stop. Yeah, no, no question. This needs to be a lion stop. Time running out. Another Thanksgiving Day football game, or almost Thanksgiving Day football game. That could have been holding on a corner, but that's a first down yardage. That's Just shy. Play. Gent Gentile has done a good job. He's been a good quarterback tonight in this football game. Yeah. He is also a junior, so we'll see him again next year. He and Doraville will be back. Keep again. Yeah. It's been the Gentile show on the last couple drives. Last end of the f drive. Now it comes down to a strip. Yeah, Got to strip the ball. Under five, and the only way is to, uh, as Rob said, to strip the football. Get a, you have to make sure he's 
wrapped up though because mm -hmm. if everybody's stripping the ball no one's tackling and he gets keeps running forward. He's got a big hole again. Good first down yardage. Second and about six. Yeah. But the clock now becomes a, a real enemy of the Lions. Lions have run a total of six plays in the second, in the half. second half. Yeah. Is that right? Yep. It wow. Hasn't. Wow. What a great statistic, Dave. Six plays. And Bill Rick is close to 30, I believe. No, that that just tells you everything you need to know right there. Doravel, Dethame, Lions trying to strip the football. Yeah. They're under four to play. And timeout, time out, Chumsford. Bill Ricker. Bill Ricker took a timeout. Interesting. They must be tired on offense, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're running too many plays. Okay, it's going to be a second down, and can't see that. Eight? Uh, no, two. Two. It's two. very short. Oh, they haven't changed. Oh, it is two. They second and two. Changed uh, third the and thing, two. the yep. uh, scoreboard yet. Second and two. Third and two. Yes, you're right. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Too many twos up there. Yeah, there are. This has been a good effort by Chumsford, though. They have played uh, a, a really good football game tonight. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's crazy, uh, that onside kick. Yeah, exactly. That's that's just a fluke that uh, yeah. sort I, of. I don't really think it was an onside kick. I don't think it was either. It was just a, a kick that uh, he almost got hit the previous kickoff. Uh, I don't know if it was uh, number 34, but he, Jonesford Lyon had to duck under the ball. That's why I don't think it was an onside kick because it was kicked so hard. Yeah, that was a, yeah, that was a line drive. Yeah, yep. exactly. Just came back and fortuitous rebound for the Bill Ricca Indians. Third and two, Bill Ricca. I don't know. It's close. It's, I'm watching the linesman on the far side. 33. I think it's short. He is going to measure it. They are going to measure it. For the third time tonight. Dave, that's, that's the statistic of the year. Six plays in the second half. That's incredible. Here comes our measurement. That's Gorica's 31st play. Wow. We're fortunate the that they've half. only scored seven points. Show it. Mm, I don't know. He's going to get the slide rule out. It is short. It's fourth down. Sigsbury in the shorts. Most of his coaching staff, I guess, that's the that's what you have to wear if you're from Bilrica. Okay, here we go with fourth down and in inches. And the clock is ticking. Why are the referees letting Sigsbury stand right there? He's yeah. Four or five yards onto the field. Are you going to call a timeout? It just oh. it happened on the last Chumps. play. Oh, that he was because he was calling a timeout, Dave. No, no. then no. Le, the le, play before this play one, he was four to five yards out on the field, oh. right next to the ref, and the ref didn't. And he wasn't calling a timeout, Dave. No, You're right. No, right. he was calling a play. Timeout. Yeah. Yep. The ref did nothing. Watch it. You'll see it on this next play. Well, it's, this is 
pretty much a uh, wrap up the football game play for Bill Ricca. There'll still be some time left, but um, three minutes and four seconds scoreboard clock. Timeout with Shumsford. Well, the Lions do have some things to build on during the offseason. Um, unfortunately, some of the other Merrimack Valley teams do as well. Yeah. <laughs> so does Bill, Bill Ricca does definitely have some, some, uh, some talent. Lions luxury box. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right, let's see what they got all dialed up. Let's see. Option, yes. And plenty of yardage on the option. First down inside the about the twenty yard line. That's a good call. That's a great it, call. It was. Well done. For that situation. And they ran it very well. It's a speed option. Very difficult to stop that. Good tackle by Kai. Yep. First and 10. Uncovered out here in this. Good hit on uh, Gentile for a short gain. Chelmsford needs to start taking timeouts now, I think. I believe that's one right there. No. Good tackle by, is that Campo? Yes. Or 50, was that 55? 55. Tell us just letting the clock tick away from them. It, you can't give this many seconds away when you don't have electric athletes on offense. Sweep, Agara. trying to use some clock, get him out of bounds. We've got, got a flag. flag, this could be holding. Agara smart enough to stay in bounds. Let's see what the flag is. It's definitely uh, something on offense. Is that the second or third flag? That's, That's all, right? That's, yeah. We've had very few flags today. Chumsford has not committed a penalty, and Belurka a couple of uh, procedure penalties. That's it, yeah. So this will back them up. Stops the clock also, right? Stops the clock, I think. Yep. No, they, it's going to start, start once they set it. Once that's why. It, the that's time why time it off. should be a timeout. Now is the time for timeout. Yes, right now. Unless the clock doesn't start. No. But it starts the 25. They have 25 seconds to get to play in now because yes. the clock isn't running. Right. It's a second down and. Ooh, quite a few. I can't see the down marker on yeah. the other end. It's 15. They're saying 15. Yep. Reverse tackle in the backfield. Timeout. Timeout. And they are calling timeout. Cooper Campo read that Campo so well. Campo again. Yeah. It's going to be third down now. Stopped O'Gara. Yeah, that's a dangerous play to run in that situation. I know he's uh, your, one of your go-to guys, but... I like straight ahead. You, I mean, yeah. you're ahead in the game. You don't right. need to score. Right. But you also don't want to give chumps with the ball. So even if you change over and downs with 30 seconds left in the game, at least just, you know, you are not keep going backwards. Right. All right, Bill Ricca has uh, about 20 yards to go for a first down here. It's at the 30. They they had fourth and inches. And they didn't pick it up. Here are the Chelmsford uh, fans. Yeah. Great shot, waving the flag there. Trying to hold on to a desperate hope. Yep. 
134 to play. I think the Lions have one timeout left. Is that correct? Yes. Yep. The scoreboard is not keeping up. No. Showing three for both teams. No, it isn't. But we've used two. We've used two. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So one. One for each left. Okay, what does Bill Ricca do here? Let's hope fumble. Big, great idea. I love it. <laughs> Coach, you're on fire. A double, double pass. pass. Agara back to the quarterback. Over for his head lateral. lateral. Wow. How do you wish that backfired on them? <laughs> wow. Absolutely, Dave. That is a little slap Outsmart in the face. Outsmart yourself right there. Yep. Was that a lateral, that second one? That's what I was looking to It was to close. See how they, uh, Where they put the ball. Uh, they're putting it back on the yard strike. Yeah, they uh, are. On the 30. I thought the second one was forward. Yeah. yeah. What about the uh, the first one? Was the original was a lot, was back. Yes, yeah, the yeah, it was replay, back. that's a lateral. Throw in a 40. This one, Ooh. yeah. That's pretty close. Well, that's pretty close. Close. Yeah. close. That's all right. Of course, we have a terrible angle from here. Yeah. yeah. Fourth down. Will Chelmsford get the ball back? Uh. A oh. wide open receiver. And walking in for the touchdown. Is number 21, Noah Canada, who's made two big, big catches in yeah. this football game. The Wicca takes a 26-13 lead, and that will sew it up, folks. Yeah. Excellent uh, play. Canada just drifted out there all by himself. Somebody didn't find him. <laughs> Vizenia to attempt the extra point, trying to get to 27. His kick is good. Yep. We have a minute 16 to play. The Lions are in what I would say would be an insurmountable hole. We're going to take a break. We'll come back with the end of this game. Thank you. For maybe the last time this season, Bruce Byam, Howie Neal, Rob Russo, and David Markham, Belurka has scored twice in the second half to uh, take a 27 to 13 lead. They're kicking it off the same way they kicked it off before that they recovered it. And Chumsford brings it back to the 40 yard line. That's a very effective kickoff um, that they use, especially if you don't have a big leg kicker. Johnson just needs yep. to finish off the game now with uh, some class. They've displayed it in this game. Their fans turned out. The kids turned out. Yep. And it's been an exciting uh, opportunity for them. It's something they'll always remember. Oh, absolutely. You know, and we regardless well. of the score, the opportunity to be here and play up yep. until the uh, uh, the Ricker found some weakness in the Lions defense. The game has been uh, well played by both teams. Our crew besides uh, Lila, um, we just want to mention uh, Amelia Normington, Ethan Bean and Joe Evans. What a super job they have all done. Get out of bounds. 
Not quite able to get out of bounds. 57 seconds. Use the last time out. No, it's, nope. they stopped for a second for the chains. That was the first catch of the day for uh, Mr. Dugan. Okay. That was his 58th catch of the season. Hart steps up and gets gotta taken throw. down. Got to throw it somewhere. Yep. Can't take a sack in that situation. Here's the last timeout. 37 seconds to go. Bill Ricca will come up with their 30th victory in this series. And they're second in a row. I tell you, when uh, we watch film, that that uh, squib kick that bounced off our front line, that's going to be painful to watch. Yes, it is, because well. it was such a crucial, crucial play in this game. But in a way, do you think it was payback for that yeah. <laughs> terrible call? Yeah, when the, exactly. You right. kind of have to wonder, don't you? You do, Dave. Yeah. The football gods. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Throw it. There he goes. Dugan incomplete. 30 seconds to go. Well, it was a tough season. When you think back on the season, it was really a very difficult season for the Lions. Yeah. Starting out 0-3, uh, three blowouts, actually. Uh, coming back to win uh, three games, Kai Everett gets out of bounds. Have it at the 40-yard line with 25 seconds to go. It's fourth down now. I think so. Yeah. yeah uh, yes. Oh, that's a uh, flag. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was deliberate. That, there was no question <laughs> that in my mind yeah. that, that was a deliberate takedown. So it will be a first down, but really to no avail. Uh, it would be nice to get a score. Oh, it would be. Yeah. So the ball comes down to the 29-yard line. Hot bowls right, fires long, and over the head of the receiver looking for Gable Gray. Second and ten. Before we uh, go our separate ways, I want to wish my partners a happy Thanksgiving. I've got the greatest group of guys to work with you could possibly want, and uh, it's been fun. It really it's, has been. Yeah. It right. hasn't been the season that we were hoping for, but uh, it's been a tough season in many ways. But yes, it's been a great season working with you guys too. Thank you, David. I most yeah. appreciate. I mean, everybody. I don't know how much rougher it can get. That's right. Oh, uh -oh. don't let him score. He oh, just he, took a knee. Yeah, he did, a, did us a favor. Yeah. Yep. I tell you, it's a quick season, huh? It was a yep. very quick season. Ogara with the interception. Yep. And that's going to end the football game. Six seconds, but if they were smart, they just end it right now. Bill Ricker would undoubtedly take a knee. Here's the pass. And yeah, that's a good call by that kid. Yeah. Yeah, he did a nice job. I, I say this every year. I, I think just like in golf, when you, you, you concede a hole, 
instead right. of having everybody come back <laughs> on the field and some kid having to take a, a loss on a knee right just concede it exactly common sense and especially to take this length of time to do it yeah there's no reason why this no. play should be snapped no exactly none whatsoever the record took a timeout apparently i think chumps chumps did, did. Yep. oh yeah. chumps did did they i yep. thought it was i thought Barica, no, he pointed this way he pointed, he pointed toward barricka right barricka called the timeout i thought he pointed to, towards us that's what i thought too dave maybe he, maybe he chumps was confused it's with their back to us because Burke is not coming out of their huddle like they should. I mean, how, how long does it take to get into victory formation and just snap the ball and take yeah, a knee? Exactly. Well, I think the coach is just telling these guys to not do anything stupid. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The game is over. Let's finish it that way. Now he put some different people in. Barricka did. Yeah. Gentile is not in a quarterback. They have the victory formation. To take a knee, he brought They're in some new people. They're going to take a knee, right. Well, a good representation of the Merrimack Valley football. These two teams uh, acquitted themselves very well. And that will do it, folks. 2023 Thanksgiving Day football game goes to uh, Bill Ricca. 23 to 20. I mean, sorry, 27 to uh, 13. And... We have to wait a year before we see that green uniform again. Yeah. Yeah. For Tom Peterson, Lilac uh, Kalaski, what a terrific year. I'm going to miss you, Lila. You have been <laughs> outstanding. And Tom, as always, great working with you. Yeah. Guys, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy, happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Thanks. everybody. Everybody out there, too. Thanks, Thanks for staying number. with us. Thanks. 20, 22, 23. What's 22 that? years. Thanksgivings. 22, I think. 22. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. They go fast, don't they? They do. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Thanks everyone. For Happy us. Thanksgiving.